Hello, and welcome to lesson number one on rhythmic notation, measures and quarter notes. I will be your teacher. My name is Abraham Myers. Measures. The first thing you need to know is that all music is broken up into little parts called measures. These are measures. We are going to start by defining the term measure. Musically speaking, a measure is the blank space between two lines. It is simply a way to organize the music for easier reading and comprehension. Measures are represented by bar lines. In between the bar lines is the measure. When we read rhythmic notation, it does not look like the examples we've seen so far. It looks more like this. Notice the space between the bars. That is the measure. When you read rhythms only, you will not see notes, but rather individual note values. So, there will be no music staff like you're used to seeing in standard music. Instead, it will look something like this. We will only be working in 4-4 four, four time in the beginning. Once you understand 4-4, four, four, then we can get into 3-4 and other time signatures. But to try and learn them all in the beginning, I feel, is too confusing. So, we start with 4-4. Four, four. Now, what is 4-4 four, four time? The two numbers represent different aspects of the measure. The top number represents how many beats will be in the measure, while the bottom number represents the kind of note that will receive the beat. So, if the bottom note is a 4, this represents the quarter note. And if the top note is a four also, this means there will be four quarter notes per measure. If this sounds confusing or it feels like we're going too fast, don't worry, I will go back over everything after we've looked at a few examples. Okay, so now with our new time signature somewhat understood, we can learn about quarter notes. Quarter notes. Quarter notes are the beat makers for any time signature with a four on the bottom. If we were to write out four measures of quarter notes, they would look like this. Here you can see that there are four quarter notes per measure, just like our time signature said. The bottom number is the kind of note that gets the beat. Here it's a four, so the quarter note gets the beat. And the top number is how many of these notes will exist in a measure. Four quarter notes per measure. Why do they call it a quarter note? Because it takes up one quarter of the measure. Therefore, four quarter notes make up a full measure in 4-4 four, four time. And remember, we are only focusing on 4-4 four, four time. And if you're worried about only knowing 4-4 four, four time in the beginning, maybe this fact will comfort you. Roughly 80 to 90% of the musical compositions you come across in your life 
will be in 4-4 time. It is the most common time signature, and this is why we call it common time. Sometimes it's not even written as 4-4, but simply as C. You will definitely run across a piece of music in your future with one of these C's as the time signature. But don't worry, it's just 4-4 masquerading as a C. Now, let's attempt to tap this out on something. Let's use our foot. If you start on the first quarter note and tap, you'll realize there is a problem. You don't know how fast or slow to go. And the reason for this is that we haven't set a tempo. Tempo. What is a tempo? A tempo is how fast or slow the piece of music will be played. We use a number to represent this. You will see this number ranging anywhere from 40 BPM to 220 BPM or beyond. BPM stands for beats per minute. For instance, at the top of your music, you might see tempo 100 BPM. Okay, so in 4-4 four, four time, we know the quarter note gets the beat. So that means there will be 100 quarter notes played in one minute. Well, I guess we could do the math and figure out how fast or slow that is, or we could buy something called a metronome. They look something like this. You simply set the number on the machine to your BPM number and press start. You will hear an audible click, like this. Each one of these clicks is a beat, or in 4-4 time, a quarter note. So, let's count our measures out with these clicks. 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. until the end of the four measures. Now for a little review. We have four individual measures made up of quarter notes. The reason they look this way is because of the time signature. Remember, the bottom note represents the kind of note that receives the beat. If it's a four, that represents a quarter note. So, our measure is made up of quarter notes. Notice that the note on the top of our time signature is a four also. This number represents how many quarter notes are in the measure. And how do we know they're quarter notes? The bottom number is the note that gets the beat. So in these four four measures, there will be four quarter notes in one measure. And if we are following on our metronome at 100 beats per minute, we press play on the metronome, and we count our measures. Here is a quick review sheet of all this info on one page. And that's all there is to it. If you are confused at this point, watch the video again. I have noticed that a lot of things make more sense to people the second time around. But if you feel confident with quarter notes, move on to the next video to see the eighth and sixteenth note explained.